the Doppler effect. Without knowing it, you already have experience of this effect. When a police car races past with its siren blaring, you notice that the pitch goes up as it comes towards you and goes down as it moves away from you. This is the Doppler effect. So what's actually happening? Well, the siren is emitting waves. And because it moves while emitting them, then as it's moving towards you, the wavelength gets shorter and therefore the frequency gets higher. Similarly, as it moves away from you, the wavelength gets longer and the frequency gets lower. Now, this is a really important effect as it can actually provide us with evidence for the Big Bang. Let's look at two galaxies. So both galaxies are emitting light. And if they're both stationary, the light should be the same wavelength when emitted as when received. However, when we look at distant galaxies, we find the wavelength is longer than expected. We say the light has been red shifted or moved towards the red, the longer wavelength, part of the EM spectrum. And because we know about the Doppler effect, we know that this means all galaxies are moving away from us. Now, it doesn't mean that we're the center of the universe because all galaxies are moving away from each other, just like every point on the surface of a balloon as you blow it up. So if everything is now moving away from each other, it means that if we go back in time, they must have been closer together. And that at one point, everything must have been in exactly the same place. The time of the Big Bang. Now, in fact, we didn't always think the Big Bang was the best theory to explain the universe. Some scientists believed in the steady state theory, which said that the universe has always been the same and always will be the same. And it was, in fact, someone who strongly believed in the steady state theory, who by accident gave the Big Bang theory its name. So why do we now believe the Big Bang? Well, the Big Bang theory made a prediction. It said that at the time of the Big Bang, gamma waves of very short wavelength must have been emitted in every single direction. And that as space expanded, these rays would have got longer and longer. And we should, if we look, be able to see these longer wavelength rays in every single direction. Well, it took a while, but finally, and actually by accident, these waves were found. And they're actually now microwaves. And because when you look, they're everywhere, we call them the cosmic microwave background. And you might have actually seen them on your TV, that interference you get when you're not tuned into a channel. So their discovery finally put the nail in the coffin of the steady state theory and made all scientists accept that the Big Bang Theory is the best theory we have to explain the universe. Quick recap, evidence for the Big Bang, we have all light that is emitted by galaxies is red shifted, proving that they're all moving away from each other, so must have once been closer together. And also, we see the cosmic microwave background everywhere we look, which is a remnant of the Big Bang.